Welcome to the Merkaba meditation inspired by Drunvalo Melchizedek. Like the sun, we must breathe, radiating out to all life, and from all life, we will receive our mana. Begin by creating a place in your home that is used for this meditation. It could be a place in your bedroom, a nice positive place to connect with your higher self. You'll want to enter this meditation once a day until the time comes when you're a conscious breather, remembering each breath your intimate connection with the Creator of all. To begin, start in a comfortable seated position, relaxed. Any seated position is fine. A lotus position is great with a nice straight spine. Begin by letting the worries of the day go, breathing rhythmically in and out the same count. As you breathe, you begin to feel your body relax, letting the tension fade. Begin to think about your heart or Christ chakra center, connecting to love, love for you, love for everyone, and love for the creator of all. Once you feel this love in your being, you're able to move forward into the Merkaba. The Merkaba is a combination of 17 breaths. The first six are for balancing your polarities and cleansing your electrical circuits. The next seven are for establishing pranic flow through your chakra system and recreating what is called spherical breathing within your body. We'll be breathing in what is called Tibetan breath, breathing in on a count of seven and out on a count of seven. You can also choose a breath that is comfortable for you. You'll want to breathe in and out through your nose, starting at your stomach, moving into your diaphragm, and finally your chest, and nice rhythmic movement. You'll want to envision a sun tetrahedron surrounding your body, and you'll want to fill this tetrahedron with the color of light. And this can be the light that you see in lightning, a pure pranic energy. You can also envision the different chakra color systems. We'll be doing a different set of mudras with our palms faced up on our knees. We'll first start by cleansing the earth tetrahedron, a little different than the sun. The earth tetrahedron has a point facing towards the earth with a point facing to the back for males and to the front for females. We'll have our hands in a mudra with our first and thumb touching for the first breath. And at the bottom of the breath, we'll cleanse our electrical system. To do this, you'll want to bring your eyes to look in towards your nose, almost as if you're cross-eyed. Look up as high as you can, and then look down. Simultaneously, you'll envision a flat equilateral triangle at the, at the top of the Earth tetrahedron, and you'll want to send that triangular plane down the Earth tetrahedron, getting smaller as it goes down, so it can push out all the negative energy out of that electrical circuit. Sometimes you may see a light in a muddy or dark color getting rid of that energy. This is a simultaneous action that happens all at once. Let's begin. For the first breath, you want your first finger and thumb touching. Breathe in on a count of seven. Breathe out on a count of seven. Bring your eyes to look in towards one another. Look up. Look down, envisioning that tetrahedron cleansing out that negative energy. Switch fingers thumb and second, your middle finger together, inhale on a count of seven, filling your tetrahedron with white light, exhale on a count of seven, bring your eyes together, look up and look down, change fingers, thumb and third finger together. Breathe in on a count of seven, envisioning that white light. Exhale on a count of seven. Eyes look together, look up, then look down, cleansing your electrical circuit. Change fingers, thumb, and little finger or pinky finger together. Breathe in on a count of seven. Breathe out on a count of seven. Look up, look down, change fingers, thumb and first finger together, same as the first breath, breathe in on a count of seven. 
breathe out on a count of seven. Bring your eyes to look in and look up. Look down, allowing that electrical circuit to be cleansed. Thumb and second finger together. Breathe in on a count of seven. Breathe out on a count of seven. Look up and look down. Thumb and first two fingers connect together. Inhale, envision a tube of energy running up and down through your tetrahedron. It creates a small grapefruit-like energy ball at your navel or solar plexus. Breathe out on a count of seven. As you breathe out, the sphere grows to eight or nine inches in diameter. The eighth breath, breathe in on a count of seven. Concentrating the life force energy growing in size. Breathe out on a count of seven. The prana sphere grows, reaching a maximum the size of about a beach ball. The ninth breath. Breathe in on a count of seven. The sphere goes brighter and brighter. Breathe out on a count of seven. Becoming brighter and brighter. The tenth breath. Breathe in on a count of seven for maximum concentration and capacity. The light and color changes to gold. Hold. Exhale a small hole through your lips, letting all the air out. The sphere automatically expands to the size of Leonardo's sphere. There are two spheres, one within the other. Breathe in on a count of seven for the eleventh breath. Breathe out on a count of seven. Breathe in for the twelfth breath on a count of seven. Noting that the original sphere is still within the larger sphere. Breathe out on a count of seven. Thirteenth breath. Breathe in on a count of seven. Breathe out on a count of seven. Bring your hands to your lap, the right palm on the left for females, the opposite for males, thumbs lightly touch. Breathe in for the 14th breath. Moving the energy source from your solar plexus, that small ball of energy and the greater ball up into your Christ chakra energy. Breathe out for a count of seven, feeling the energy. The 15th breath, breathe in for a count of seven, say to yourself, equal speed. Breathe out for a count of seven. The star tetrahedron spins in opposite direction at equal speeds. The 15th breath. Breathe in, saying one third the speed of light. Make a small hole with your lips, just as you did for the 10th breath, and blow out. The 16th breath. Breathe in for a count of seven. Say to yourself, 34, 21, balancing your emotional body. Breathe out through a small hole in your lips. The 17th breath, remembering unconditional love for all life, breathe in for a count of seven, saying nine tenths the speed of light. Breathe out for a count of seven through a small hole in your lips. You are now in a stable, third-dimensionally tuned Merkaba. With the help of your higher self, you will understand what this really means. After you are finished with the breathing exercise, you can get up and return to your everyday life. If you do, try to remember your breathing and the flow of energy through your body, as long as you can realize that life is an open-eyes meditation and everything is indeed sacred. However, it would be desirable to remain in the meditation for a while, perhaps two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, up to an hour longer.
While you're in this meditative state, your thoughts and emotions are amplified tremendously. It's a great time for positive affirmations, to talk with your higher self, and to discover the possibilities of this special meditative time. Thank you so much for spending your time with Seven Planet Broadcasting in this Merkaba meditation. From our hearts to yours, Namaste.